Hey guys. Okay. Um, I didn't upload a video today and it's really just because I've been working on the headboard finally. So I thought I would jump on really quick before I start sawing and applying wood to the wall. Um, and just say that it's actually happening. So I've been talking about doing this for months and I know at this point it's just become a joke. Like I'm sure of it. Um, it's a joke for me because we've been living with this wood in our room and like I had the tape on the wall for like months and then I, I the tape fell off and then I bought the wood and it's just been like me procrastinating and just procrastinating like crazy. Um, your message about shoes. Yes, thank you for that by the way. I appreciate it. I'm gonna have to go look at Costco now. Um, I was walking caliber when I was messaging you back. So, which is why I sent you a picture of my shoes so quickly. Anyways, uh, I am, so a few things. Okay, number one, the boys don't want to share a room anymore, which is kind of like the end of an era. <laughs> it's, it's very strange that they want to have their own spaces, but Drake wants more room to display his Lego creations and Deacon doesn't want to have to clean up Drake's messes anymore. And that's the reason they want to have their separate rooms. Um, will they actually be able to do it? I don't know. I doubt it. But because of that, it has taken, like for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be, because the kids are on break, and I just, because they're on break, like I'm working less during daylight hours, so I'm going to have them help me a whole bunch. But we're going to be taking the room the boys are in now and they're going to be splitting rooms. So I actually just sold the big king size mattress that we have in the guest bedroom. And that's going to, so that, that went. And then um, we ordered a new mattress, which we were planning on doing anyways. Because I was planning on redoing our guest bedroom anyways. And taking the king and making it a queen so we have more space. And then um, I'm getting rid of like all of the LuLaRoe stuff so that I have space in the loft. So that we have like more of a place to store a lot of our adventure stuff. And um Lots of changes. Basically, our entire upstairs is changing. So the loft is going to be going from LuLaRoe stuff to like a game room kind of for the kids. Oh, my house is in, it, I'm in the it gets worse before it gets better stage. Um, so and then the boys are s splitting rooms. <sighs> so we have to like, instead of it being like guest bedroom slash storage, it's going to be Deacon's room. No storage. So I've got these totes and I am going to be filling them with a lot of our like adventure stuff. When I say adventure stuff, there's no other, there's no better way to like sum it up. It's our biking gear. It's our, uh, backpacking stuff. It's our scuba diving stuff. It's, I mean, you name it. It's our skiing. It's our snowboarding. It's the rugby. It's volleyball, softball, baseball, you name it. We literally have an entire kit for it. So, um, we just need space to put it all. So we hadn't, we didn't have anything underneath like our bed. So I have all these totes and I'm going to put like scuba diving and I don't know, like backpacking, but stuff that like in the event we were to like get a mouse in the garage, I'm traumatized. If you guys remember my last house, a mouse came in and ate the wires in our fridge and it spoiled all of our food and that was like, I, mice just make me so nervous and knock on wood, we haven't had a problem. Literally gonna go, actually I've got, I got wood on my bed frame here. Um, so yeah, I just, I wanna keep it really safe so I wanna keep it inside and long story short, I have to get very creative with storage because we don't have a lot. It's lagging again. Ugh, it's making me crazy. Let me see really fast if I'm on the Wi-Fi or not. I'll jump on the Wi-Fi and see if it helps. I'm the only one home right now, so it should be okay. Yeah, Molly, I'm literally sitting on my box springs. <laughs> my mattress is like on the wall over there. Yeah, my house is such a mess. Um, it's a disaster at its finest. Did you join as a VIP? When did the leggings, wait, when you did the leggings? Yeah, well, I wanted the deal, right? So I did the deal, but, um, yeah. And then I'm going to do it for a little bit and then stop. I'm, I love the leggings. You guys, they were, we're talking about the Fabletic leggings. It's not just like a, I'm like a believer now. And I've only worked out in the one pair. I haven't worked out in the pant pair, but to be honest, I don't like working out in pants. I bought those pants so that I could like wear them as, um, it's very cliche, but like, the mom who's like at pickup with the leggings on <laughs> the workout outfit that doesn't actually get worked out in that's what those leggings are for so um 
yeah, kind of like today. Um, anyways, so I have, I, last night I painted, hey there, I'm sitting so far away, even with my glasses, I can barely, hey Jade, um, barely see, but last night I painted this wall. So this wall's painted, and I'll record like the process of how I'm actually gonna do it. But did you notice the blue's gone? So that's what I did last night, which is why everything's torn up because I took everything and like put it on the other side of the room. And then last night I slept like <laughs> I slept down. Um, my boyfriend wasn't home last night, which is why um, I, I tore everything apart because I got home and I was like, it's just me. Like I'm gonna just get crazy, and I did. I painted. Um, so yeah, that's that's that wall. I like it. It's lighter. Can you see the difference? And that was not on purpose, but it's lighter. Um, luckily, they're in the same like gray scale, but this wall is a shade darker than this wall. But I think because of the wood that I'm going to do, it'll like make it pop a little better. I don't know. Guys, I don't even know if this is going to turn out. But um, I found the saw, <laughs> and I'm going to take... Some of the wood back downstairs and cut it and then just piece it all together so you gotta figure out what i want to do why don't you hire a painter because like i don't know I, I i don't think it would be worth it money wise like i put on I, I got home it only took me it didn't take very long um but i got home and i put on schitt's creek in the background which is if you um well, I can't tell if you're being mean <laughs> or if you're saying like a painter's cheap or if I'm cheap. I'm definitely cheap. I'll be the first to admit it. Um, but I love to save money wherever I can. So uh, anyhow, I came out, I came home, I put on Schitt's Creek and I was eating chocolate and painting and it was fabulous. So uh, if you don't watch that show on Netflix, it is like the best. I, I don't watch much at all, but that is a show where if you just want a really good laugh, it's it's definitely one to put on. Um, <clears throat> it's it's awesome. So, yeah, it's I'm looking really forward to it. I'm looking forward to it being done. And then after I do this, I have to figure out what um, we're gonna do. And now it's Deacon's room, and he's gonna take the duck room, which you've seen the paints the, in there before. It's awful. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> And it's like flat paint. I'm like, babe, what were you thinking? But it's yellow and green and there's like black and it's an Oregon duck room. Like it is the ducks room. And we call it the duck room or the adventure room because it's duck stuff or adventure stuff in there. Um, and I asked Deacon, I was like, what do you want to do? Like what color do you want your room to be painted? And he's like, oh no, I like this. Like, oh, of course you do. <laughs> like, of course you like it. It's, oh, it's such a, it's such a boy thing. Yeah. Molly, okay, now you are like, I'm gonna just remove you. Let's see if I can do it. When you start being mean, um, there we go. Okay, when you start being like nasty and posting nasty comments, like, I'm done. Um, so anyways, I am going to do, um, I don't know what we're gonna do in there, but I got Deacon's bed, so he's got a, um, I'm going to put a queen bed in there so his room can function as the guest bedroom in the event that we have like guests coming. So uh, yeah, that's going to be my month with the kids home. So that's what we're going to do. But this is one thing that I really wanted to just get done. And last night I'm like, if I don't start it now, I'm not going to start it. And it's just going to continue to not be done. So um, yeah, anyways, that's kind of where I'm at. We'll see guys. If I completely mess this up, or cut my arm off. We're gonna have problems. <laughs> it should be okay though. So these are the boards. If you haven't seen them. These are the boards that I bought. So all of them are wood except for I did buy a pack of white ones. Let's see. So it's just a variety of colors, and I'm gonna kind of do. I don't know. I have to be somewhere at three today. So I'm hoping to get it done by then. You think three hours is? It's 11:30 now. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take. And I, I think what I need to do first is really measure it and figure out where I need to cut these planks at and how I want it to be staggered and then kind of go from there. So it's going to be the most basic imaginable and rookie move. I have some two by fours that I'm going to put behind it so that I can adhere these to the, to the two by fours. And I, uh, 
accidentally left them outside and I don't know if you can hear it but it's dumping rain in February it's very strange but it's raining so now they're wet so now they're they're taking a time out luckily we had like an awning there but still they you know they're just damp from being outside um so anyways let's see these people that always want to split their own room um yeah no Jade you didn't miss it um I'm gonna look for I'm gonna put it into a stud so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nail the I'm gonna screw the um the two by fours into or the I think that it's actually like a one by four I think um I'm gonna put those into the studs and then just nail these to the one by fours it's a one by four no it's not a one by four it's a two by four because I want it to be away from the wall a little bit but I want it to be secured to the wall if that makes sense so guys I'm completely making this up I have no idea if I'm doing it right. If anybody's like, don't do that, let me know because I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> Three hours should be enough time for you. Ah! You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. We'll see. I don't know. A good day if I do. You're so sweet. Yeah, so that's that's kind of what I have planned. No, as far as the boys go, like I said, Drake just wants more room to store his Lego stuff and Deacon doesn't want to have to clean up after Drake anymore. That's, those are their reasoning. So, I don't know. Part of me is kind of like, oh, maybe it's because now they're seven and nine. It's always been a threat. Like when they would be like up really late, like goofing off and talking or like throwing things at each other or being crazy. I mean, up late if they're being quiet and talking, but when they're really being like wild and crazy and like jumping off their beds and stuff, um, my threat's always been like, I have their names and I'm like, I will draw a name and one of you will go sleep in the duck room. That's what we call it the duck room and uh no no don't do that we'll be good we'll be good and then they just brought it up to me and they were like we want our own rooms like oh i'm not ready i'm really not ready i was just gonna redo it as a guest bedroom and i'm not ready for you to like want to have it be your bedroom now <laughs> like i'm not prepared but i figured it's a good time may as well just do it all at once so um yeah basically redoing the whole upstairs so i'll just share the process it'll probably be just because my videos will be a little wonky um so because, yeah, because my videos will be a little wonky, having the kids home from um, school, I'll probably just be sharing the process. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm hoping to have it done by the end of February. We do have a guest coming for a week. So I need to have it set up within the next week and a half. And then that way um, our guests have a place to sleep. So it'll be a guest bedroom for a week before it's officially Deacon's room. So by the end of the month is my goal. Um, to have it be completely done completely done uh, I really do want to paint it but if he really wants to stick with like the duck theme then I mean so be it I'm not gonna make myself go through more work if that's what he liked I'd set it together It'd be interesting to see yeah I know I I mean occasionally they're separated se separated <clears throat> but it's usually because like Deacon's gone for the weekend hunting with my dad or um, yeah, that's pretty much the only scenario. That's about it. So, um, so motivated. Ah, I don't know, guys. We'll see. Great. <laughs> Thank you. I don't like wearing my glasses when I'm um, recording videos because the blue, like the, I'm never going to get it again. But the screen glare is really, really bad. So, that's why I usually take them off. But my eyes have been kind of a mess this week and they've been like painful like I've been like in the gym working out in the morning and I'm just like oh my gosh it just burns it feels like there's sand in my eyes which means I'm not using my eye drops enough so it's my own fault um but it also affects my vision like a lot that whole remember when I got diagnosed with like chronic dry eye <laughs> my my first world problem um when I when she told me and she's like you need to do these drops in the morning and then these drops during the day and these drops at night and it's gonna help like with your eye and you'll be able to see better it'll you know increase your vision blah 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 it now that I've been if I stick with my like eye drop regimen I can see so much better it's amazing uh, at night it's still really bad but during the day it's it's awesome so um, yeah it's it's kind of a tricky one though it's like a really tricky one to be able to make sure that I'm uh, doing them but I don't know it's a pain in the butt you guys so but that's why I'm wearing my glasses long story short did you just choose different colors for the wood no I bought these sets let me see if I can pick one up they're kind of heavy actually I'll just grab it oh, oh goodness it's this 
Can you see this? And I got this at uh, Home Depot. So I bought two of the wooden, like the wood color ones, and then I bought a box of the white ones. So I'm just gonna kind of alternate them. And the white ones, I showed you one of the white planks. It's just like a white wash, a light wood color with a white wash. Uh, so yeah, it is. it goes so fast. <laughs> you are cheap. I'm cheap. I'll be the first one to admit, I'm super cheap. Um, are you guys doing arrows for a possible move soon? No. No, um, leggings the other day, they ran true to size for sure. You could totally do work at Home Depot, Jack Walters. I don't know about that. Um, I don't know. We'll see if it's, if it's any good. No, we're planning on staying here for a while. Um, of course, we always talk. We're like, oh, like, we'd love to live, like, on a ranch with, like, no neighbors and just, you know, have quiet and just be super antisocial. But um, we're really content. And the kids, like, our neighbors are amazing and the kids are so content and we've got like we're just really close with like everybody pretty much everybody right around here so it's it's hard to want to leave that like the grass isn't greener <laughs> and i don't know we're it's it's everything we need storage is a little tricky we could use more storage like i would love a bigger garage would love it but you know, it's it's not worth moving to have a bigger garage. I mean, that's that's kind of nonsense. So we'll see. I'm just trying to get clever and creative and use more of the space that we have. So like moving things off of those racks in the guest bedroom or the dock room or the adventure room and putting them in totes and things like that. So um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I should get started though. So I just wanted to update you. I'll probably be doing a lot of these videos <laughs> this month where I just sit and talk when I want to take a break. And uh, yeah, this morning I went and I met a friend and I had a, this is super random, but I'm not drinking coffee, this is water. Um, I had a lavender honey latte and I am not with like half, with the least amount of sweetness possible because um, I, don't, I don't really care for sweet coffee, but oh my gosh, I guess what they do is they put the lavender plant, so they put the little lavender pieces, you know, little purple pieces, I don't know exactly what those, the flower maybe, I don't know. Would that be what it's called? But they take those pieces and they put it in with the espresso. When they pull the shot of espresso, um, it gets infused with lavender, which now that I've had it, I'm like, I have to do that at home. Like, why couldn't I do that at home? Have a lavender plant, put some lavender in with my espresso, pull it, and then just put a little bit of honey in. It's like comfort in a cup. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not really a flavored coffee or a sweet coffee person, but that is just, there's something so comforting about it. So if you ever have a chance to try one <laughs> as random as that is but, it, but the point being is it took away time from doing this this morning but it was definitely like it was awesome it was so much fun to go do that I, it's rare that I go and have coffee with a girlfriend so it was it was a lot of fun um but try that coffee it was delicious so good all right anyways I guess I'm gonna get cracking on this so I will record the process and <sighs> I'll let you guys know how it goes. It might be awful. It might also be awesome. Let's see, it's about a hundred dollar project. I, because I repainted the wall and a gallon of paint's about 30 bucks. It was a hundred and thirty dollar project. Hopefully it's worth it. We'll find out very soon. So I should stay live. <laughs> It'd be me running up and down the stairs like cutting wood. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna bring this off here. I'm gonna like keep it in the garage. So I'll hit cutting and then running back upstairs and checking. And no, I've gotta do some measuring first, so. I'm gonna do that and then we'll go from there. But I will keep you guys posted. Maybe I'll do another live tomorrow morning. We'll see. So anyways, I will talk to you, you guys soon. Thank you for your kind comments. I appreciate it better than getting to Orange, you say is your favorite. Oh, um, gosh, I haven't done that one in a really long time. It depends on the blend that you wanna do. Uh, orange. Which one is it that I'm trying to think of? I like, like in the fall, I like, oh yeah, well peppermint. Yes, orange peppermint's amazing. If you're just gonna do that, I was thinking diffusing. Um, and you do like clove and cinnamon and wild orange and that's awesome. But yeah, um, orange and peppermint are the two that you can put together that just, those are amazing. I always, I don't diffuse that very often. I just like, unless I want a real pick me up in the house, but that's when I just put in my hands and like deep breaths and then rub it on my neck. It's amazing, so, all right. I'll maybe I'll go do that now <laughs> on my way to the saw. So um, I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>
if I can even shut this. <laughs> Bye.